So I am here with one of my favorite artists of all time, Humberto Ramos. Como esta, senor? Pretty good, sir. Hi. Hi, everybody. So, man, I have loved your artwork since the 90s when you were doing X Nation. You did Impulse with Mark Wade. And it's, I, I left comics for a little bit, but when I came back, it was still good to see familiar names. And your name, I was like, awesome. You've drawn about just about everybody. Wolverine, Spider-Man. Are there characters that you want to draw? Like, you're like, man, I really want to draw, like, Superman, Wonder Woman? Nah, not really. No, I'm not a... I mean, I like the DC guys, but it's it's not like I'm willing to to do a, a particular character there. I was raised as as a Marvel kid, so being with Marvel, I I really enjoy doing well, doing the characters and uh, the one that I always wanted to do, like I think most everybody else, is Spider Man, and now being uh, the guy drawing the book uh, fulfills all my dreams as a kid so I'm uh, I'm living the dream so how long have you been on that book for now well I I it's a it's a uh, come and go kind of thing right because uh, there are many characters in the in the company and uh, I take a little uh, uh, time in and then I take I take off for a bit and like uh, I was I was drawing the book and then I took off to do um, the extraordinary X-Men, and then I came back, and then I uh, went to the to the champions, and then I come back. You know, it's a, it's an in and out kind of thing. Um, you know, I I go, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, uh, uh, to the toward the or the company uh, field that I can I can be of any help. Uh, but I always come back to Spider-Man because you know that's the one that I yeah yeah that's my guy. How, how did your journey into comics begin? Because you, you did you start at DC? Is that where everything began? And then move over to Marvel? Like how how did you get found per se? Well, I I was uh, picked at San Diego Comic Con by Dennis Cohen and Dwayne McDuffie yeah. back in the days of Milestone Media. So I worked with them. I, well, I drew Blood Syndicate and Hardware and Static. Oh, the Milestone books. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, then I was uh, uh, picked from uh, to do the the DC Annals of I think it was 1994 maybe, okay. and I did this. Uh, book about about uh, steel and I, when I was doing that they asked me if we wanted to do a couple issues on Superboy because Tom Grummet was really uh, uh, you know uh, heavy on, on, on duty because he was doing uh, what's the name uh, no he was yeah he was doing Robin I think yeah. but he was also doing Superboy in um, action comics or one adventure. Oh, Adventures of Superman. Superman. He was also doing that. Yeah. But also, he was doing um, Zero Hour. Oh, zero. That's right. He did the Zero Hour event. So I, I, I feel him for a couple of issues, and by the end of the second issue, <clears throat> they asked me if I wanted to be the uh, the regular artist on this new book. They were they were launching after. Zero Hour that was Impulse. Yeah. So I I, um, I moved from Milestone to DC full time to do Impulse and uh, I did Impulse for like 25 issues I yeah, think. you were there a while. Yeah, and then I moved to uh, G. Wallstrom I think. I, in, the, in the middle of it I did a little of Marvel. I did X Nation. Yep. It was a, uh, a short, a short, short, short time because of things that happens, you know, like uh, the Marvel being uh, uh, letting people go because yeah, of the, they have, they have, you know, like monetary issues at that time. It was a time. bad time in comics for everybody, yeah. So I, I, uh, I decided not to, st not to stay at Marvel at that time, so I did. Gen 13, DV8, and it's, and then I started my my career on uh, Crimson, path right? with Crimson and out there, you know that kind of thing. Then and uh, finally after 
uh, quite some time. I went back to to Marvel when uh, Joe Quesada took over the editor in chief uh, position. He called me back to do Spider Man, so I started oh, wow, yeah. doing uh, Peter Parker Spider Man, oh, then Jenkins, Spectacular right? Spider Man, and so on. So I'm from that time. I'll be in a Marvel exclusive, pretty much. Yeah, that's awesome, and that is a great story. And it's, like I said, it's always good to see names that I was familiar with. Well, look, any wor last words for an aspiring artist out there that wants to make it into comics? What, what would you say to them? You know that you need to enjoy the the the. The work. I mean, it's a pretty exhausting and consuming time job, and so you have to do it only if you love it, because it's, you're gonna spend a lot of time doing this. And uh, and I know a lot of people likes drawing, but not everybody likes spending like 16 hours a day drawing. And uh, so it's not just about drawing, it's about having, let's say, the call yeah. for it uh, and being professional. That's, to me, that's the most important thing. You know, like I've, I've seen a lot of people come and go being really talented and, and great artists, but they are not professional. And, and uh, as fun as this job is, like we draw the funny books and stuff, it's still a job and a lot of people depends on what we do and they depend on we deliver right on time right on cue and uh, so we need to be aware of it thank you very much for your time sir it was a pleasure